Hey, I just wanted to talk to you about my 3D printer. I got it from a website, FolgerTech.com, and uh, here it is right here. It's an i3 2020. It's made with 2020 aluminum, and um, I've had it for a couple of months. I uh, mainly print out ABS mail with it. I printed a lot of stuff with it, and you know, it's a big learning experience is because you never know when it's going to come out right until it's finished so I uh, hooked the Raspberry Pi up to it also and I have uh, it running Octoprint and uh, that's how I used to communicate with it and for printing the uh, ABS stuff I actually made me a uh, box uh, to keep the heat in for it and I can put it on or take it off do whatever So when I go and print my ABS, when I start printing, I uh, put my thing that I made from Lowe's like so. Of course, it keeps on heat in. Of course, I made a little hole where I can see how my print is doing. Yeah. And voila, you have you an enclosed 3D printer. Okay, um, I have my Tinkercad open, and I had just opened up something that I had started making. And I'm going to just show you how easy it is. Basically, I want to print this out. Uh, so I'm going to select my object, and then I'm going to basically hit uh, Export. And then I'm going to say the selected shape, and I'm going to save it as STL file. Of course, I'm going to hit Save File. Alright, then I'm going to open up my repeater post and uh, then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to uh, add and I'm going to click on the uh, sorted by date click on that and then here's my object and basically I'm going to slice it with my slicer settings I'm going to start slicing going to show tells you how many minutes round estimate 14 minutes and basically I save for SD print let's save once I do that then I go to my octoprint basically I'm going to upload that there it is Click on that plate actually, plate right here, hit load, okay, and then click print. Now I'm going to just print the bed, and of course, uh, I don't really care how bad it looks, uh, I just care about how it works. So uh, I'm not going to remove all this, but you could remove all this and you know use the ABS in the same color that you using so you wouldn't have any discoloration but uh, I don't really care what it looks like as long as it's functional but anyway I'm gonna just take I'm gonna scrape off this last bit of blue brim that I had left over from my last print I know a lot of y'all might talk junk that I'm not cleaning the bed properly and all this other stuff and that uh, I didn't level it out and all that stuff but you know what I don't care it prints good enough for me so that's all that matters the part just works just as well so now I just take my little mixture of uh, acetone and ABS extra ABS that I put you know this is the brim I can just, just stick that in there and It'll just melt and this is what comes up with it. And you just take your little brush and you just brush it on there to the parts that you kind of pull it off. And I do level the bed. 
sometimes. You know, once I get it pretty level, I'll just print a while with it. I just, when my prints start messing up because it's unlevel, then that's when I'll level it. But other than that, I'll just rock with it until I need to. My prints done started, so let's take a look at it and see what the status is. See if you can see in there. Let's see inside of here. Okay. So it's looking good. So far, so good. All is good. Okay, my print is now complete. And finished so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just peel it off does it fit like a glove I would like to show y'all some other things that I had 3d printed I have these flowers and a vase that I printed off for my wife for Valentine's Day and uh, I got the files from uh, Thingiverse, and you can go on there. I can list them in the description and show you where I got it. I actually came, I printed each piece out separately. I printed the rose part and then the stem part, and then I acetone glued them together, and it uh, comes into a flower. The person told me that it would have been a good idea to like spray some perfume on there and you would have had the smell too. Okay. Then I have this 3D printed chest set that I had printed off. And um, I was actually uh, taking the trash off one day and I ran across uh, this old medicine cabinet that somebody had thrown away and so uh, I decided I said shoot uh, I'm gonna take that that looks too nice and so I got the medicine cabinet and I came brought it home and I washed it and then I just basically glued my 3d printed chessboard to the top of it and uh, now you can just uh, play chest on top of this and of course it opens up you can put your pieces and everything else in there and it works as storage too uh, if you got it somewhere where you want to hide away something, just open it up and just throw something in there and close it. And, uh, you have a little storage space also. So I thought that was kind of cool. Again, thanks for watching. And check out some of my other videos also. They may not even be pertaining to 3D printing because uh, I kind of mess around with a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So check them out.